Welcome back to part two of my estate haul. If you watched part one, you saw that I bought half of the estate on an online auction. Um, it was pretty incredible, 10 and a half pounds of jewelry. I'll show you some more jewelry today and then some other items that I got to resell. So I bought a huge Christmas lot in this auction for two bucks because no one bids on Christmas items. I don't understand because you can make some good money out of it. But look at these sparkly flowerish or flower type ornaments. Very pretty. And then I found buried in the bottom, this porcelain Yankee handle um, ornament. It actually has smell good shit in it and it goes for around $14. I sell figure rings as well. And this porcelain figure ring is a cute, cute little owls. People love their owls and their birds. Which way am I going? I don't even know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to wash this next item because when I hit it, a lot of dust comes out. But I think it's the old, um, is it Huggies? Ultra Bear? I don't know. It's some kind of old bear from 1980. But I thought that was pretty cool. He was in the big lot of plush that I got from this estate. And then I found, and then I found a Cracker Barrel. If you guys know those restaurants, they're everywhere, it seems like. A little die, or not die cast, but little ceramic truck. You can use it as, I don't know, butter dish, trinket dish at the end of your nightstand. There was a whole, there was a huge lot of Halloween items. I won't go through each one um, and fall decor. I got that for two bucks, I think. Maybe that one was $3, if I remember correctly. But this little Halloween candy dish I thought was really cute. I don't like selling precious moments because it's kind of saturated. But this one I um, bid on, it was two bucks, 15th anniversary. I'm gonna have to wash it, but I also got carnival glass. Look at that beautiful orange. I got a whole lot of that for two bucks, so I could not pass it up. I saw it, bid on it, bid some on uh, on some others, but it went above my six dollar threshold. It went to eight. I'm cheap, and did not bid on it. But um, I got one lot for um, two bucks, so I was pretty happy with it. Light up lighthouse. If you need to find your way back to your bedroom or your bathroom, this would be a perfect gift for you or a loved one. I thought this was really cute. This was in the whole garden lot that I got for two bucks. This is one of the pieces. It's um, pretty large. This is like a cast iron piece. It looks like something was hanging there, but it's not anymore. But it's pretty cute. Garden ship. Another lot of jewelry that I got, two bucks. But you got turquoise. It's not, okay, it's staying over, okay? I will fix that. And then you got some brown long necklaces. I could see this old lady wearing all these. And you got this beautiful piece. All this you can find on my auction every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. with back row bidder Chuck and his wife Marcy, frugal peanut reseller. Check us out. We love meeting new people. But yeah, look at this beautiful jewelry. Got rocks. This next lot that I got for three bucks with some more jewelry watches. This is a guest watch. Um, it's a women's watch. This is Visage, Visage, Visage. I don't know what it means. Got Chico's watch. All this jewelry is women's jewelry because it was an old woman, old woman's estate. This one looks like it could be a men's. Um, even though I said all this jewelry was women's, it looks like it could be a men's, maybe a woman's, but it's too small to fit my fat wrist. And you got this beautiful turquoise watch. It just says quartz, so there's no name brand on it that I can find, stainless steel. A Montier women's watch, another beautiful piece. And you got this one, it has some scuffs on the lens. A gold tone necklace with the turquoise pendant. Do you like the deep sea? If you do, this starfish necklace is for you. Gold tone. I think I rhymed there. And then another gold tone necklace with um, a couple of roses on it, which I thought was really pretty. This snowman is tin, a little sparkly. I'm gonna put this on Facebook Marketplace. See if I can get out of it. There's no name on it, but a lot of this cute decoration stuff I sell on Facebook Marketplace all the time. So I got, I bid on this huge bag of linens and they're all older. Smell test, smell great, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, anyways, huge bag of linens, got it for two bucks. So I'll show you some of them. A little white linen with cherries. Have you ever asked yourself, Nate Pie, my toaster looks ugly. Well, you know what? Come by 
this toaster cover. Come on, who doesn't need a toaster cover? This will change your life and get rid of the egg ugliness in your kitchen. Not ugliness, ugliness. And then this beautiful pillowcase. This is covering up my nipples right now from slipping out. You're welcome. And then this cute linen tablespoons. I'll probably lock a bunch of these together because, oh my God, a nipple. Uh, I'll probably lock a bunch of these together because that one said tablespoons. There's some other ones that go together that someone would want in their kitchen. And if you don't, too bad, take them. Another beautiful linen, Christmas one, little bells. I'm not gonna go through all the linens because look at this, this is still what's left. There's a ton of them in here. Uh, I'll probably trickle some of these. Another kitchen one. I'll probably trickle some of the linens onto my auction. The other ones will be going on my eBay store. So check both places. You never know where they'll end up. Got a snowman from Crackle Barrel. Got this beautiful ornament from Avon. This cute stitched Santa picture, or they put it in a picture frame. A Mickey Mouse club. Glass. This needs cleaned up, but this beautiful butterfly trinket, it is carved with someone's initials, but if you really don't care about that, this is the perfect gift for you, but it's really cute. Then you got these little Santas, one's a candle holder. Cute little sign, the good times are still to come. Oh, I hate to do this, guys, but considering everything got auctioned off, and I don't think she's no longer with us, I don't think the good... This was an appropriate sign to have hanging up in her house. Awkward. This lady really liked Crackle Barrel, but this is a Crackle Barrel light up mercury glass tree. Give you an idea of what it looks like. Really cute, I got like four of these. She spent a lot on purses, shoes, mercury glass, trees, um, a ton on Crackle Barrel stuff. Then there's like these, um, placemats. I don't know if these are worth anything, but I am going to try to sell them, see what I get out of it. They were included with some of the kitchen stuff that I um, acquired. That I acquired. And then some more. These are cuter placemats. So if you still use them placemats in 2023, I am your guy. There's two more parts left in this series. One's going to be the purses and shoes that I got in the next video and then the last video is going to be a lot of the wall art that i got and i'm not going to waste your time with all the like, trinkets and doodads of um like the christmas shit and everything because i mean that would get boring after a while and there's so many pieces here i got to get all this listed but this wednesday 9 p.m eastern on my channel back row bitter chuck marcy the frugal peanut reseller will be on my channel and we will be auctioning off a lot of stuff a lot of stuff from this estate will also be auctioned off, especially the jewelry. I'm not selling any jewelry online on eBay. It's all gonna go in the auction, the brooches, all gonna be at the auction. So make sure you're there so you don't miss out. Look forward to seeing you there. Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern, the two Beardos are back. We don't know if we have a guest this week or not. We just never know. We kind of just throw it together. That is an R-rated show. So come as you are, leave as you wish. I have no idea. I'm never good at quotes. But anyways, have a great day and enjoy these.